it's K8 BYP chasing some RF noise. It's an impulse noise here. And its maximum is at 285 kilohertz. Specific frequency. So it's something oscillating. I know it's from down here. <clears throat> I know it's that switching power supply. And notice it's on the Kindle, which is drawing maybe a quarter to half an amp, and that's a 60 amp switching supply. Look how much it went down. Just by turning on the AC, which is on the same power supply. The AC draws half an amp. So the supply is too lightly loaded. It's a switching supply and it's making switching noise. Because to regulate that small of a current, it has to switch very fast intervals. So, do I run off like some chucklehead and ground something? Nope. I put a load on the power supply, it helped, but it didn't fix it. And now that much. Two S units down from S9 plus 20 dB. One S unit under IARU is 5 or 6 dB. You figure how much of a signal drop that was. 45, 65, about a 60 dB drop. What did I do? Did I ground something? Nope. I'm a design engineer. I'm an RF engineer. I know what I'm doing. I'm not one of these idiot grounders. Now watch what happens. You want to hear the noise again? Huh? The heck is that? What that is, is using very advanced engineering knowledge to know that the correct fix is to put a variac on it. And you know what makes a noise come back? Operating the AC line at just the wrong voltage. Right there. Right there, what happens to be 120 volts. When I turn it up to 130 or down to 110, The noise goes away. So I'll just turn it up a little bit. Variac's not making any heat. It's inductive. It'll tend to put some inductance between the, the noisy power supply and the AC line. So this is the difference between my channel and the clown channels that did.